Yo, what the fuck is going down, everybody? It's your boy, Saucemen X. Checking back at your niggas with another goddamn video today. So I'm back with another NBA video for this goddamn bitch. I don't think I have uploaded in like the past three, maybe four fucking days. Actually, yeah, it has been the four fucking days. It's, I'm gonna upload this shit before it says four days since my last fucking upload, which probably, which probably around this time, like four days ago at six o'clock, whatever. So gotta up that fucking NBA shit, my nigga. But back at your motherfuckers with another goddamn video today. But, uh, you see it by the goddamn title. You see it by the fucking title, my nigga. Um,. What more is there to say? Okay, what more is there to say? Now, I'm not going to fucking put exactly what I'm going to talk about in the title because I just wanted to be, keep it fucking short, you know what I mean? Because that's probably going to generate a lot more fucking views, I guess. I don't even fucking know. But you see by the goddamn title, the Boston Celtics are going to make the NBA Finals this year, okay? So you heard it right here, right the fuck now. I'm giving up on the Cleveland Cavaliers. I know motherfuckers already been know knowing on this fucking channel. I've been talking shit about the Cleveland Cavaliers, okay? I was fucking roasting the shit out of them. I made a video, like, around this time last month. Well, not around this time, last fucking month. Like, on January 13th, I believe, where I was saying uh, the Cavaliers will get swept in the finals. Made a video predicting them to lose by 35 goddamn points, even though they only lost by, like, 10 points. So I was actually surprised about that fucking shit, my nigga. You know what I mean? But Cavaliers falling the fuck off. And I said they're going to get swept in the finals. But I'm pretty sure at this fucking point, we all know, okay, if you're not a uh, desperate ass Cavs fans, we are, you should already fucking know. The Cavaliers are not going to make the NBA Finals this year, okay? They're not going to make the Finals this year. Give it the fuck up, and you see about the title. I don't know what I'm, I actually don't know what I'm going to title this shit. I don't know if I'm going to title this shit, the Boston Celtics will make the Finals this year, or the Cavaliers won't make the Finals this year. I'll probably put the Boston Celtics will make the Finals this year because I made a video, like, around this time two months ago, uh, the Warriors won't make the finals this year, but that was because, you know, I didn't know who was going to make the finals. All I knew is that at that specific time, which it looks like it still could potentially be the Rockets potentially making the NBA finals. Okay, I'm not fucking ruling that shit out. But at the time, I didn't know who was going to make the finals, whether it be the San Antonio Spurs, whether they get healthy, or the fucking, uh, uh, what, what do you call it? Or the Houston Rockets. I don't know, so I just put the Warriors to make the finals. So I'll probably put it with the Boston Celtics might make the fucking finals this year. But yeah, we all heard the fucking news that happened a few goddamn days ago. Kevin Love. Kevin fucking Love gets injured, breaks his fucking hand, and he is out for six to eight goddamn weeks. This nigga is going to be out for damn near the next two fucking months. The next two fucking months. So you might as well just pack your fucking... <laughs> you might as well just pack your fucking bags. Get the fuck out of here, okay? We'll see your ass next season. It's over. You know what I mean? The Cavaliers, it's over. They're not making NBA Finals this year. I give the fuck up, okay? I gave up on the Cleveland Cavaliers, and I gave up on the San Antonio Spurs. I don't give a fuck, okay? I'm giving up on niggas. Just looking at things at an illogical perspective. Um, uh, well, well K San Antonio Spurs are not going to fucking make it this year, okay? Let's be honest here. I don't think anybody knew that from the goddamn start. Kawhi Leonard ain't going to be fucking healthy. But Kevin Love gets injured against the, the Detroit Pistons, I believe. That was when, before Blake Griffin played his fucking debut game. And Kevin Love breaks his fucking hand. And he's going to be out for six to eight weeks. So here's my thing about the injury. People are going to be like, oh, the fucking desperate Cavs fans or whatever. They're going to be like, oh, well, the fucking, uh, you know, Kevin Love might be able to come back right before the playoffs start. And then they can make their run for the finals. First of all, it's not just about Kevin Love's injury. Go look at my fucking video. Go look at my uh, Cleveland Cavaliers won't make the finals. I mean, we'll get swept in the finals year video. Go look at that fucking video. Okay, in that fucking video, I was pretty much explaining why the Cavaliers entire fucking team is just bullshit. Okay. Again, I'll repeat the shit again. Uh, what was I going to fucking repeat? The core of the Cavaliers is fucking garbage. The core of the Cleveland Cavaliers is fucking trash. Inconsistent ass teammates. Nobody but LeBron James. Now it's, now it's official. You want to say Kevin Love? It's official. And LeBron James is the only motherfucker doing shit that can consistently play well. Hey, he's the only fucking player that consist can, can consistently play well. The whole core is garbage. Inconsistent ass fucking team. Okay, minor setbacks. Okay, just fucking setbacks after setbacks. Terrible fucking team chemistry. Okay, what, 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 what did I hear about? Oh fucking. Oh yeah, there's some other news. Oh, other shit up in the goddamn news. Derrick Rose fucking um. What did Derrick Rose do? Derrick Rose. He. It turns out that Derrick Rose left the goddamn Cavaliers a few months ago just to get married. That's how pathetic this goddamn shit is. Just to get fucking married. What kind of what kind of like what kind of shit is this? What kind, what kind of shit is this? Like, I remember when Derrick Rose left the fucking game when he was on the New York Knicks and just went home. You know what I mean? Like, 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 tell our team chemistry of the Knicks and fucking follows on the Cavaliers. Like, the whole chemistry is bullshit. We should already fucking know that goddamn shit. You know what I mean? So, and, and, 
If Kevin Love comes the fuck back before the uh, playoffs start, that's just going to be even more inconsistencies piled on each onto each other. I already fucking explained that, so you don't need to get more into depth in that fucking shit, you know. And also, what, what else was I going to fucking say? Um, what else was I going to fucking say? Oh, yeah, the Boston Celtics are going to make the NBA Finals this year. They're going to make the NBA Finals this year, as I said. Give it the fuck up. Uh, you know, they, they, you know, Cavaliers ain't gonna do shit, but, oh yeah, that, you know, the, another fucking thing before I get into my next goddamn point, uh, Kevin Love, they say he's gonna be out for six to eight weeks, but remember back in 2015, 2015 NBA playoffs, okay, the one that they lost the NBA finals because of those fucking injuries, my nigga, okay, they, Kevin Love was injured, oh, uh, Kevin Love was fucking injured, they had to take Matthew Delavan Dover and Tristan Thompson just to do shit, but uh, Kevin Love was injured. They said he was going to miss the entire semifinals and potentially return in the conference finals. And he didn't return at all. Even when they made the NBA finals, the nigga still couldn't even fucking return. Why is that? Why is that? What about that? So that's pretty much just going to, I mean, it was the same fucking injury. Didn't he have a, oh, he had a fucking elbow injury or fucking arm injury or whatever. You know what I mean? But <clears throat> this time it's a fucking hand. I really doubt he might not even be able to be back by playoff time if he even is even if the nigga does come back, he's not going to do shit. Okay, he's going to have limited minutes. And they're 30 and 20. So the record's 30 and 20. They're third fucking seed. Uh, Boston Celtics, 38 and 15. Uh, and another thing, uh, uh, Greg Monroe just went to the Boston Celtics. I believe again, the fucking trade happened like a few days ago. Greg Monroe went to the Boston Celtics. Fucking got uh, traded there or fucking he signed or whatever. And again, that's more proof. And right now, the uh, Boston Celtics are working on getting Luau Williams and Tyreek Evans, okay? Which I think there could be legitimate trades that can happen. Okay, it's a big-ass fucking rumor or whatever. And another thing is that the Cleveland Cavaliers are thinking about getting rid of J.R. Smith. They're thinking about getting rid of J.R. Smith. So when I heard that fucking news, it was like, it's over, okay? <laughs> like, what more is there to explain? It is over. The whole, da the whole damn season has gone to shit, Okay? Uh, 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 J.R. Smith is they're gonna fucking trade that nigga, getting injured, terrible team chemistry, absolutely nothing, and third fucking seed. So if they get third fucking seed, even if they make the second round, okay, we, we'll play against the Milwaukee Bucks at this rate, but I'm pretty sure they'll beat them niggas. But <clears throat> play against the second round against the Toronto Raptors, no, no, they're not even gonna beat the Toronto Raptors. I think they won't even be able to beat the Toronto Raptors, or if they do beat the Toronto Raptors in the second round, it'll go like seven fucking games at this goddamn rate. So Boston... Pretty much the nail in the coffin. They got Greg Monroe. I think he, uh, he's a decent fucking rebounder. Okay, it'll be another key piece alongside of, uh, what's that nigga's name? Uh, Aaron Baines and uh, Al Horford. You know what I mean? So, a pretty damn decent uh, decent shit there. Perfect fucking coaching by Brad Stevens. Fucking Kyrie Irving. Okay, continuing to, you know, play, you know, continuing to fucking dominate. And much, much better team chemistry. Much better fucking potential. Celtics are a better team. We all fucking knew that shit the entire goddamn season. Cavaliers have gone the fucking shit. Second, third seed. 30 and 20. And they're going to get the third seed at the end of the season. Third seed by the end of the fucking season. At this fucking rate. Okay, I don't think fucking, you know, they're, they're going to go down to fourth seed. Because the Washington Wizards are also looking like shit. They, them niggas fell off the goddamn map, of course. Because we already know John Wall fell off the goddamn map. So, you know, that shit ain't going to fucking happen. So, they're going to be third seed. May get to the second round. But then they can take six or seven games just to beat the Toronto Raptors. And if they do, they're going to get fucking annihilated by the goddamn uh, Celtics. And... Gordon Hayward's going to come back within March. Okay, he's going to come back within March. Or if it takes a month after, he's, he's fucking healing up, I guess. So he's probably going to come back within the next few months. That will make the fucking Celtics even more of a liability. You know what I mean? So it's over. Everything about the fucking Celtics, the chemistry, the coaching, you know what I mean? The potential, uh, everything about the Celtics are much better than the Cavaliers. So give it the fuck up. Okay, no need to explain anything. Don't make the, extend this goddamn video. Give it the fuck up. Cavaliers are playing like shit. Uh, Greg Monroe goes to the Celtics, they're working on getting Luau Williams and Tyreek Evans, which if they do, that should put the absolute nail in the fucking coffin of them making the finals, even if Kevin Love comes back when expected, which he didn't do last time in the 2015 goddamn playoffs, you know what I'm saying, so how is it gonna happen now, he's probably not even gonna return, g g fucking spend the whole first round, not even getting any, that, not getting that much fucking minutes, that's how it's gonna fucking be, so, give it the fuck up, Isaiah Thomas, get the fuck out of here with that goddamn shit, the whole team is garbage, uh, Raptors are a much better fucking team. The Raptors might, Raptors might beat y'all niggas. Celtics are definitely going to beat y'all niggas. They're not going to make the NBA Finals. Give it the fuck up. Lost all fucking hope. 
Cavaliers chemistry is garbage. Jarrah Smith is gonna get traded. Anyways, get the fuck hey, fuck out of here with that goddamn shit. You're bored of Saucemanx. Check the fuck out of here. Peace.